JC Dupree from the website Damsel in Dior and I've got a brand spanking new closet I'm very excited to share with you today. We're going to walk through some of my favorite pieces. These are a few of my favorite things. Right? That's how this one goes. First up is a dress that I designed with Splendid. My dad is a cotton farmer. Cotton farming has been in my family for over 150 years. So naturally this year I designed a cotton collection. It's not quite perfect, you know, and that's kind of like how I feel about my style. It's like girly, but kind of like doesn't take itself too seriously. I like to read a lot and I didn't really have a place to put all my favorite books in this house. And so I put them in my handbags. I know it's a little weird, but it helps them keep their shape. So, a lot of my bags have put some. Another favorite piece in the closet is my only Tom Brown piece. I'm a huge fan of Tom Brown. I actually got this as a present from Four Card, and I love it. I absolutely love it. It's preppy, it's super duper starched. It's one of my favorite, favorite white shirts, and I do have a lot of white shirts. Apparently, I have a thing for white shirts, but this one's the trophy piece. I love it. And then there's the jewelry drawer. Are you ready for this? Look at these drawers, watch. When you close them, they just like, boom. I don't have a ton, ton, ton of jewelry. Um, I find jewelry to be exceptionally personal. Um, a couple of my favorite pieces in here, number one is this watch that my husband got me on our wedding day. I also love this Cartier bracelet. It's the nail. This is like the first nice thing I bought myself after I started blogging. My first like big annual ambassador deal that I nailed. Get it. I went to Cartier and bought myself this bracelet. So this is kind of like my I'm a woman from New York piece of jewelry. I just started to collect pins from all the cool hotels that I stay at. So this is kind of just like a cool little accessory that I like to keep on my vanity. Um, and like I only try to keep like the pretty pins. But this isn't just a place I do my makeup. This is a place I like write, read, make lists for the day. My first Chanel bag. Ta -da! It's pink. All right. I'm gonna be honest. I got the, I got this bag when I was 20. It was my first Chanel, and it's because I won big in Las Vegas. I wasn't really supposed to be gambling um, at that age, but I hit a slot, and Misha Barton from the OC had a pink Chanel bag. So I wanted a pink Chanel bag, and so that's what I bought. And it's my favorite bag in my closet. Not only because I was gambling illegally to win it, but I love Misha Barton. Anyways. Somebody in heaven loves me because somehow I managed to make it on the Chanel gifting list this year. Um, I know, it's kind of nuts. It's like, please, please don't take me off that list. And this is the first thing that they sent me, which is a beautiful box, which I'm gonna keep forever and always and it's filled with beautiful sunglasses. I haven't worn them because they're like so pretty and new and I always lose sunglasses. But these are my favorite because they have the pearl on them and they're just like, oh my gosh, let's go and watch and drink champagne. Maybe we should do that in my Zen garden. Did I just play about my Zen garden? Huh. Welcome back. Anyway, so moving on. I'm trying to think of something that I've bought that I regret buying. I, I'm, I'm settling on one thing in particular, and it's these Balenciaga shoes, which I bought to wear to the Balenciaga show in Paris. I was like having this moment where I was like, the kitten heel is coming back, and it did come back. And I liked wearing them, but they're exceptionally uncomfortable. And I've worn them for a total of 30 minutes. <laughs> A purchase that I'm exceptionally proud of and I stand by five years later are my old navy pajama pants that cost me $10. These are my favorite pajama pants. <laughs> they are disgusting. My poor husband has to see me in these like three times a week. They're very sexy. They were very cheap and they're my favorite pants in my closet. Oh, if I lost these I would be like perfect. Also, in the beginning of my blogging career, I was, you know, I was looking to other bloggers and other graphic designers for inspiration, and there's a blog called Note to Self that I always looked at um, for inspiration, and these are two of her prints, so I keep them in here to remind me of, like, you know, to always look 
at others for inspiration that are kicking ass and taking names. Sorry, I have to keep that out. And I think that's it. Yeah? Did we cover it? The highs, the lows, the ins, the outs? You ready to get out of my closet? Thanks for coming to visit me. Bye!